Chase Darrell from Barbecue Superstars. We're here in front of the <clears throat> museum again. And what's the name of the museum? It's Oakley Park Museum. Okay, tell us a little bit about how this house originated and, and a little bit of the history of it. The house was built in 1835 by Daniel Bird of the Virginia Birds. Uh, the house has only had four owners, Daniel Bird, Colonel Marshall Fraser, Charles Cheatham. Then in 1868, General Martin Witherspoon Gary purchased the house in order to provide a home for his widowed sister and her four small children, the youngest one being four years of age, a boy who later became the youngest governor of South Carolina at the age of four. It remained in the Gary family until 1942 when John Gary Evans, the nephew, few of the general donated it to the town of Edgefield along with 47 acres of land that has uh, become the town park uh, and, the, and the museum. Wow this is really a massive structure and it's beautiful as, as some renovations have been doing to keep it up. We have uh, recently just completed the total renovation of the entire interior of the house and we're working on the kitchen house now, the little old slave quarter kitchen house to, to have it open for the public as well. Wow, well, we're going to walk inside and we're going to take a look at some of the stuff inside and we're really excited about Edgefield, South Carolina and this huge museum. Oh, uh, no, it looks like you're getting ready, that's what I'm worried about. Getting mainly this tent set up first. Okay. Wow, look at that. Wow, man. That's General Gary. That's General Gary, That's right? General there. Gary. Okay, he was the donator, right? Yes. Okay. Wow, look at this house. My goodness, it's beautiful. Uh, now turn it on. Wow, what a beautiful house. Who's, who's, uh... That's the widow lady who came here with her children. With her four children? Victoria Gary Evans. Wow. Uh, goodness me. This room back here, that's, that's Colonel Mays. He was one of the benefactors many years ago. Okay, well, I shouldn't have messed with the door, I'm sorry. Prior to our renovation, this room had horsehair wallpaper on it. Wow, horsehair wallpaper. And it took two men three weeks to clean it, and now it's down to the heart pine that this house is built out of. So originally this is the the real wood that this was on. This is the real stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, it's amazing, wow. Okay. Okay, and then I guess that's an original Confederate flag right that's there. That's a homemade, handmade flag. Wow. And that's not a Confederate flag, that's the battle flag. That's a battle that's flag. That's the battle flag. The Confederate flag is the one that's flying on the front of the house. Okay. Wow. And in this case, we have an original red shirt and a carpet bag right here behind you. Oh, wow. An original red shirt. And a carpet bag. And a carpet bag. You know, they really did an effective job of making it red, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this picture. That is a picture of Verena Davis, Jefferson Davis's wife. Okay, Verena Davis, Jefferson mm -hmm. Davis's wife. The gun on the top. It's Pitchfork Ben Tillman's gun. Pitchfork Ben Tillman, wow! Oh my goodness, that thing's seen some action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! Oh! Okay. So this was General Gary's desk. General Gary's desk. Wow. And there's a. What's that piece there? It's just a 
card. It's a, a thread winder where they could wind the thread and know how many skeins that they had to have to make something. Wow. There's a thread winder. Mm -hmm. That is cool. And we have Edgefield pottery, but we don't have any of Dave's pottery. Okay. And all teenagers should have to take a book like that to school with them because that's a dictionary. That big book on the top of That's there, a dictionary? That is a dictionary. It belonged to Governor John Gary Evans. <laughs> There's a dictionary. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, really some neat artifacts, neat stuff. and. Let's see now, there was one place I didn't go. In this one room right here. Okay. okay. The furniture in here came from Governor Evans' Spartanburg home, except for the burgundy sofa. That burgundy sofa belonged to General Gary. So, who, who was from Spartanburg? Governor John Gary Evans. Oh, he was Governor from Spartanburg. Evans. That's his portrait over the piano when he was the governor. Okay. Okay, turn the light off, honey. Turn it off, okay. Yeah, glare. Turn it off, that's fine. That's it. John Gary Evans was governor. Oh, I'm sure he's, 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 he's got to be. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's General Gary over the mantle. This is his brother, John Hillary Gary, that was killed at Fort Sumter. Well, wow, it's weird. I could see the back of the room more. Cut the light off one time. Oh my God, he looks like a ghost. <laughs> It's showing the room. It's not showing, well, it's showing him, but it's showing him in the middle of the room. Hmm. These are the grandparents. Come look, honey. Let's see if he does it again. It is. <laughs> well, we have ghosts in this house. I, I believe it. We do. I really believe it. We have a room upstairs where we had some ghost hunters came here and they were written by Lucy Holcomb Pickens in 1895 telling the ladies of the Edgefield Society to let's get up off of our hineys and raise the money and put the monument up on the square. Oh! She's very curt with her words. You know, there's always a woman behind every good thing that ever happens. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's our that's the Edgefield Hussar flag that's one of a kind. That is the one and only Edgefield Hussar flag that was presented to Captain Matthew Kilbreth Butler in 1862 when he went off to war. It's made of blue silk and we think it was one of Lucy Holcomb Pickens' blue silk ball gowns that she brought back from Russia. Wow! Oh, the little white building out back, out back there now, out from this way, mm -hmm. is a six-seated outhouse. Oh, it's, oh it's, gosh. can they see each other? No, it's a petition. Okay, I just wondered, my goodness. You got, three, all... you got three and three. Okay. When this house was built, you could stand on the balcony and see the courthouse. But of course you can't do that now because of the trees. This is the balcony that General Wade Hampton and General Matthew Kilbreth Butler and um, John Gary Evans stood on the rally of the red shirts on um, election day, November 1876. Wow. Look at that shot down through there. Man, it's like the whole town's right down uh, through the hollow there. Uh -huh. Okay, this is our <laughs> ghost roof. Okay, I want to come out. This is the bed. There's a lady curled up in it, and there's a gentleman standing here in a Confederate uniform. Wow. Okay, what we'll have to do is go back, and then when I uh, edit it, it up. Yeah. if you uh, get to see the movie or get a hold of the movie that they made about Edgewood, the Francis Pickett's home, uh -huh. about 80% of it was filmed right here in this house. This is the bed that Francis Pickens was sick in, in Russia. Oh, wow. Oh, now, what was the name of the movie again? 
Edgewood. Edgewood. We have videos downstairs to sell. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just acquired that little cradle about three months ago. It dates to 1892. Now, don't tell me this is the bath. That is the bathtub. Are you ready for your morning bath? <laughs> that is the bathtub. Wow. But I let some of those old girls off today, so I don't have anybody bring the water. <laughs> wow, look at the view. That, oh, that jacket right there. Uh -huh. That see, after John Gary Evans um, was no longer governor, he was appointed by governor by President Buchanan as the adjutant in Havana, Cuba. And that is his formal wear. And that jacket weighs about 18 pounds because it's gold thread. Wow! It's made of wool. And all that's gold thread. So he was an adjutant in um, Cuba. Yeah, in Cuba. Uh -huh. And this was the children's bedroom because they had to go through the mother's bedroom before they could get out of the house. Oh, okay. So they knew where their kids were all the time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is, I get a charge out of this when I have a bunch of teenagers. Boys, I said, this is your underwear here. <laughs> of course, they don't, they don't think too much of that, but anyway. But that was back in the 1800s right there. Yes, uh-huh. This was the underwear for the boys. Mm -hmm. So they, they had a way of sewing and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, well, that's really not, that's not a story there, so. No. Okay, I'll edit that out. And All right, thank you so much. Sure, sure. We have a bed in the other room over here. This was the room that General Bailey died in, but this is not the bed. This bed was found in the basement of the house. Anyway, it belonged to a Mrs. McKittrick, who was their daughter, but she did not want the bed because she lived in New York, so they gave it to us in 1927. 1927. These posts is one tree. One tree. Oh, you can kind of see that. Uh-huh. So they... uh. Spun it, roll yeah. it down, and wow, that's beautiful. Well, I'd love to have a bed like that. That's amazing. Yeah. And let's see, we've got some pictures on the walls. That's John Gary Evans. Okay, when he got older. Yeah. Okay, here's the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the spring garden silk quilt top that was made in 1875. We had the newspaper for backing. Oh, wow. Uh, get the case out here. in the 1700s. <laughs> wow. We have this Calpin collection, and then we also have one that's uh, written and autographed by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that we have left in the house. And I can't get anybody to reattach it to the ceiling because it's a Tiffany and everybody thinks they will break it. And we can never replace it. When I took over this house, I had a, in my inventory book was a picture of a soldier coming home and all he found was the smokehouse. And this is my picture. I was looking for a little picture and I finally found it. And that's it there. Wow, so they smoked meat in that house. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Barbecue, baby. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Let's see now, what does... That's that was presented to uh, John Gary Evans when he left Havana, Cuba, because he was such a prominent individual down there. Yeah, there's this Havana right on the side mm -hmm, of it there. Mm -hmm. 
Man, this might end up being the best documentary you ever had on the house. <laughs> Where's money from the... That's the real stuff. That's not. And here is a general's jacket. See Lucy Pickens up there, the hundred dollar bill. That's little. Where's it at? Right there in that frame, right up there in front of you. No, 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 right directly in front of you. See the hundred dollar bill there? That's Lucy Holcomb Pickens. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The money ever made in the United States with a woman's picture on it. Oh, wow. That's a Confederate hundred dollar bill. That's amazing, man. Whoa. And then this is a general this jacket. This is General Nathan George Evans's jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's our general. Yep. And that there's uh, the state. It's a copy of the Ordinance of Secession. You know it was written in Edgefield by Francis Hugh Wardlaw. Well, it wasn't signed in Edgefield, it was signed in Charleston. But it was written in it Edgefield. It was written in Edgefield. Wow, mm -hmm. Articles of Secession. Mm -hmm. Oh, we wow. have seven signatures on the gentleman from Edgefield. Looks like it's been through a fire, but it made it. Mm -hmm.